All right, so we're back on Goldeneye. We are almost done all the levels. Now we're on uh, Caverns. So as usual, we're gonna play it on double agent difficulty. All right, so this one has a bunch of different objectives. Uh, Caverns is actually one of the few maps that I do like simply because I like the layout design and I do like the nice music they have to it. Well, not the elevator music, but the actual stage music, which you can hear later on. All right, so here we go. Uh, we're starting off in the elevator. We can also use the doors as extra cover by closing it if we need to. But uh, the key here is try to get an angle where you can move to the side and they can't really shoot you, but you can shoot them first. Just don't be in a direct line of sight. Always have some kind of angle where they can't really see you, but you can shoot them clearly. And move to the side because they can still get me from that angle. The pistol is okay. It's alright. But, uh, oh, I got the AR-33 assault rifle. That is my favorite weapon in the game. Later on in this level, you will find the RCP-90, which is a beast of a weapon. But I just like the design and the sound of the AR-33 assault rifle. I think earlier in the playthrough I called it the AR-34 assault rifle, but I just wasn't sure if it was 33 or 34, but yeah. All right. Oh, he actually uh, got by that shot. You see right there, as you move from their direct line of sight, they'll be shooting like a wall, pretty much. So you can use that throughout all the levels and use it to some kind of uh, advantage for yourself. Alright, so here is a uh, part of one of our objectives down here. So those uh, small little crates, they have ammunition for your uh, submachine gun. So I'll use a uh, timed mine on them. But be careful because there are scientists running around right below me. So yeah, just watch out. So we gotta destroy these uh, control computers here at the back. There's two on this side and two on the other side. Uh, but just try to get the scientists away from the area because they will explode and sometimes they kind of just walk into it and just, you know, they die. And so you're supposed to minimize scientist casualties. So that includes don't let them walk into explosions. All right. So uh, anybody, I think there's someone up there, but he must have heard my gunfire and took off. Yeah, I think he ran down this way somewhere over here. Ah, there he is. I see him down there. Yeah. They're alerted by sound nearby from automatic big weapons. Yeah, even the uh, submachine gun, like this one. Uh, I have... Uh, okay, I can take out this one. He's kind of far. Um, this dude, can you please... Thank you. Okay, there we go. Even though the explosion on those computer terminals is very small, the scientists tend to walk into it and he still dies so just be careful this dude is kind of stuck in the wall he's not moving but um, I need to get this objective done so I'm gonna take a chance and just whoa someone is here where'd you come from huh I thought I took out everyone behind me on that platform anyways okay so we'll shoot this uh, computer terminal hopefully he doesn't run into it and okay we're safe good we can proceed i think this is actually one of the longer levels in the game oh this part is pretty cool a huge cavern it's nice there should be around i think uh two enemies walking up here we'll just take this one out with a uh, single headshot with the pistol to uh Reserve some ammo. I mean, if you can get a clean headshot with a single pistol shot, do it. Instead of using multiple shots with a submachine gun, why not? Just save some ammo. So we'll make our way up to the top over here. This is about maybe halfway through the level already. I mean, the first half didn't have too many enemies, but the other half has a lot. And uh, most of them will have these submachine guns. Some will have the... Uh, assault rifle the AR-33 assault rifle actually and I think one or two of them has the RCP-90 all right we'll make our way inside here what you could also do in this point is you can 
actually shoot your gun to attract them, close the door, and then put a time mine on the door and kind of take out a bunch of them and save some ammo. Yeah, it's an option if you want. I mean, you have these time mines for a reason, so might as well use them at some point. And there we go, okay. That might be all the enemies in this general area right here. That should be it, I think. However, we do have a bunch of boxes and they have valuable ammunition for our submachine guns. So I'll put a timed mine right there in the center. And I'll use the assault rifle for the remaining boxes on the side over there. Okay, we'll just pick up all the ammo for the uh, submachine gun. Okay, good, that's extra. And we use a few bullets to open these boxes here. Oh, there's one for the assault rifle. Nice. All right, here we go. And let's go in here. There's one dude there. We'll crouch and get him with a clean neck shot, I guess it was. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because at a distance, the submachine gun uh, kind of shoots a little bit all over the place. It's not as accurate as a single shot with the uh, pistol. Yeah, but down this area here, there's quite a few enemies, but the good thing is they're all kind of just like standing still so you can peck them off. Yeah. Yeah, just take them out from a distance pretty much. And this one is below. We'll crouch down, try to get a uh, headshot on him. Okay, took a few bullets. I'm gonna clear upstairs uh, as much as I can and I'll take out enemies down below if I can see them because I want to head to a certain objective that is actually the hardest part in this mission I want to try to get it done first instead of saving it for last and realizing oh I did all that work but then I failed at the end so if I fail it's only about maybe you know possibly six or seven minutes into the uh, the level and if I fail I can restart but the point is I want to go directly to the hardest part if I can right away and just kind of get that over with. All right, good. I love the assault rifle. Whoa, this guy just ran right by, okay. And this dude is over here. And there should be, uh, I think, two guys by that door over here. Yeah, there's two of them, I see them. Get a headshot, oh, this guy heard the sound. I shot off his little cap. <laughs> so there should be, okay, there is the code card, good. And there's, so, yeah, there was someone who heard the gunshots and they're coming through the door. Take him out. There's also someone you can shoot through the glass. There you go, there's one there. All right, and let me see. Let's uh, go down here. Yeah, there's two guys. Just get their attention and take them out from a distance, from a good angle. There we go. So let me just go down here, pick up the remaining ammo from the enemies I took out earlier, and then we'll backtrack and go to the hardest part of this mission here. Okay, we'll go back. So what makes this part a little bit difficult, or I'd say the only challenging part in this uh, mission is uh, on this little area to the right when you enter, there's going to be a bunch of scientists. They're going to be in front of these explosive barrels and also these uh, uh, computer control terminals you have to destroy. But there's enemies in there. And the problem is you cannot really shoot anywhere because you're going to destroy the explosives and everyone dies. But that guy or one of the other guys will pull out a grenade and then that causes a chain reaction. So what you want to do is try to take them out quickly if they pull out a grenade and go for headshots, you know, clean headshots without shooting the explosives behind them because you don't want the scientists to die in the explosion. So after that, go and activate the radio and that part is done. Okay, so you can take out this uh, computer terminal on the left, right there. There we go, that objective is done. And there's some more ammunition if you uh, destroy these boxes here. I'm running pretty low on the assault rifle, but I will use the RCP-90. Yeah, this is a 
beast of a weapon, man. Rapid fire, huge clip. I mean, look at that. There's a lot of shots in this. All right. So we'll go back here. I don't think I can open this door. I don't think so. Because I have to get the... Uh, yeah, it's locked. Okay, yeah. I have to go back and get the... Uh, whoa, there's someone... This dude just appeared without even opening the door. That's kind of odd. All right, anyways. Okay, so I think we're done in this area. Unless I missed any ammo in the corner. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there was one there. Okay, yeah. So this area is cleared out. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing else here. All right, so we have to find the uh, key card or the key that can access that area. But there is another entrance on the other side of the stage. So I'm going to go over there. It's actually through the uh, bottom area behind the staircase. I'll show you. So just make your way over here. And over behind the staircase is the other entrance. Yeah, there's two ways to get in there, but I'll take this way because uh, I find it's a bit safer and I got a better vantage point. The other entrance is on the uh, top floor. All right, so shoot this thing here and there is a hidden passage behind those objects right in there. And if you look at the floor, you can kind of see the path that goes around and this connects to the other area. So shoot that and then take cover because enemies will see you right away. And just kind of chill here and just wait and get a good angle. And then when you see them, just take them out with the uh, RCP-90. So just wait. There's a few more enemies. Yeah. Just uh, get a good angle. Have some good cover. And this loud noise should attract more people. Yeah, just like that. You see? Man, this thing shoots really fast. So that's one of the computer terminals you got to destroy here. There's a second one to my left and a third one in the far right corner. Okay, we'll take this one out. And there's uh, someone right there. Okay, good. And I don't think anyone else is coming down, but there could be more that are too far to be alerted by the noise of my gunfire. So there is the other computer terminal. There you go, destroy that and that objective is done. All right, so just go slowly, peek around the corners. If there's anyone there, take them out. Check the right side. Ah, there's someone there. And watch out, there's a turret gun right above you. There we go. That's cleared out. That should be it. All right. So we also have the key card when the enemies uh, dropped uh, down in this area. So all the objectives are done. And all you have to do now is just make your way to the exit. All right, got all the ammo. We are good to go. So right here. And just look out. It's kind of far. I'll use the assault rifle to get a better look at his body. All right. And then pick up the ammo. And then this is the exit right here. But uh, there are some guards in here. And there's also two turrets down that uh, long corridor. So take out these guys. There we go. Okay. Proceed forward. And open here. And then open here. And there's one turret right there. Another one a little bit down the hall. Take it out. There we go. There's some enemies. Oh, that's Alec. He's actually going to get uh, the signal to actually proceed forward when he goes in your direct line of sight. So he took off and then... All you got to do is shoot the enemies down the hall and then get to the elevator. And whoa, I'm getting shot in the back. And then, oh damn, these uh, elite guys. Okay. Okay. I forgot to mention, I think those guys respawn infinitely. So keep that door closed and listen for the sound of the door behind you opening. Now, I could be wrong in that theory that they respawn infinitely in that area. But the reason I believe they do respawn all the time is because they have those uh, dark sunglasses and they have weapons in each hand, aside from one guy who had an assault rifle. It reminds me of uh, the bunker level when they sound the alarm 
you're going to respawn these guys with sunglasses and holding two weapons and they keep respawning infinitely over and over. Uh, jungle has a similar area as I mentioned before at the very end where enemies will respawn infinitely if you stay in one area so you gotta push forward. Those ones are not elites but it's kind of an area where they keep respawning all the time. So that is the end of Caverns on Double Agent Difficulty. On to the next one.